All right, guys, we got a special guest. In this vlog, we got Victor from the Mo Ranger. We're about to try out his little uh, sharpening blades uh, machine over here, which let's go ahead and uh, give it a look. You have the RBG 712, and uh, it looks like a nice little beast, man. Made in the USA, good old USA, that's what I'm talking about. So we got my blades. We got uh, the mulching blade from the Honda, and then we got the uh, regular high lift blade from the Skag, and then you got some some mulching blades yes, too, right? From the, they're like Oregon, but uh, as I told Mark, when uh, anybody uses one of these machines, they highly recommend a pair of safety glasses and gloves, preferably long sleeve shirt, but. You never catch me wearing long sleeve shirt, but it, it it's okay as long as you got gloves and safety glasses. We're good, good to go. Okay. Well then, uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's see what what you got. So how much? Oh wow, dude, that is. I thought it was gonna be a lot louder, but it actually isn't. But I'm sure whenever you get the blades going, bro, yeah, it's gonna be super you'll, loud. You'll then see. I see you got a balancer over here. What is that? Right. That's, yeah, that's an organ. So once we're done, we'll balance it. People put this on the wall, but we'll we'll just put it here on the table. That's what I do, and it works. It seems to work for me. Awesome, bro. Well, then uh, let's go ahead and uh, get busy. That means people are gonna comment, and that's I like that. Well, well then I think it's sturdy, but I, I don't. Okay. Remember. All right, Matt. So let's go ahead and get into the nuts and bolts on this. So kind of explain how this works. So all you do basically is you take the blade that's your sharp end, or you know the the cutting end or whatever, and you put it on the uh, this RBG. It has the perfect. 20, 30 degree angle, and uh, you just go back and forth several times, and uh, we'll turn it on obviously and do it, but then, you know, then it comes out. We had started this one, and then versus the other side, as you can see, and we're working on this one, but uh, I don't believe these blades have ever been sharpened. So, no, this is gonna be the first time. So, so, so it'll take a few passes. Okay. Uh, I don't know, six or seven or so, and then, We'll do both sides that, that many times and then we'll see how balanced it is. Okay, so this, this gives you that perfect angle. That's why you got these right here. You go either side, I guess. And, uh, oh man, so this is a little catcher where it catches all your- Your, your grit, your, all the your, grit. Your the shavings, or grind, grinding shavings. Yep. Okay, cool, man. Well then, uh, let me get my ear pros and my ear protection and let's get busy, bruh. All right. Uh, Balance they are. 
going like that. Look at that. Oh, bro, that ain't going anywhere, bro. Remember, remember how when you put it on there before? The first time we put it, it was moving. It, it, it was, was like this. And then we didn't video it, but then after I swiped it a few times, yeah. And we put it right here. Look at boom. Okay. So turn that off. Though. Awesome, bro. Well, then uh, let me see if I can knock out some of these. You can. You're more than welcome more than to try welcome. it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and sharpen the other side of the skag blade. Remember, guys, wear your ear protection, maybe some gloves, and let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. I 
think that's good, right? Put it back on there just one more time and we'll see. On just what? To, on the balance. Okay. Just to make sure that it there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, if it's up and down straight like that, then you're good. Okay. Now I'm going into the big one. This one, look, check it out. This one has a leak. This one has a notch right there. I don't know if y'all can tell. Boom. So let's see if it'll take that out. And on this side, pretty, it's okay. It's pretty smooth. Let's try to get, see if we can't get that nick or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Is it, does it look bent? Is that just me? Right? It's bent. So we kept the balance. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Good. Maybe it needs a little more than maybe, but it looks pretty good to me. Nah, that's good, bro. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't have to be like perfect. Yeah, yeah it, doesn't, exactly. it doesn't have to be perfect, man. So there you go. We got my blade sharpened. Now, I'm gonna take off the blades off. No, actually the blades are okay on this one, man, because I haven't really used this one much. But we're gonna, let's get, you wanna get yours and let's get some blade action on yours? Sure, if you want. So let's take a look of the blades he brought. So he's got, uh, looks like he's got two pair of the organ blades, which these look beast. These are beast mode right here, bro. I wonder if those, will go good on the skag and then you got these high lift blades for this is for your for your right standard, standard. yeah my right standard all blade. of these are for your right standard yes oh okay so these are the oem version and these are uh gator gator type blades yeah cool bro Gator mulching blades if you will yeah and then those are oem mulching blades awesome all right so let's get let's get to work all right bro get to work uh, I don't twerk around here. Alright, so we're done sharpening the blades with the machine that we just uh, got done using. Here's a couple of blades, some after, after the fat sharpening. So, kind of wanted to point at something out real quick. 
now the machine is great for blades that are like this like the gator blades that are just straight there's no concaveness no bends or anything whereas like these oem blades they have the concave the dips as you can tell there so it's kind of hard to try to get those uh sharpen right bye mark <laughs> There goes the mow ranger. Because I had trouble also with the Honda blade, the same thing. But there's where a handheld grinder like the one that I was using earlier, something like that. I guess I don't have to show it to y'all, but y'all guys know what, what it is. There goes uh Nichols mowing. They're still out and about. So we got, like I mentioned, the grinder, the, sh the blade sharpener that Victor has is great for these. I mean, you get a nice, precise angle, nice, precise, sharp, sharpened, sharp, sharpened when they're straight like that. But you start to kind of have a little bit trouble whenever you have the curve like this. But that's where the uh, handheld grinder comes in. So we had a little blade sharpening party here at the uh, Eclipse headquarters. So I, I think they came out looking pretty nice. We'll put the uh, cutting testability to the test on Monday. And I'll give you guys an, an, uh, a review on that. Right, let's check out his uh, mow and go system. Which a lot of you have been talking about it. Uh, asking you know about this mowing go system look that's something brand new the little rack tool rack right here dude that is awesome bro you just got that put in right uh yeah like about two months ago i think two maybe. months ago okay yeah, something like that and you're still able to get your your yeah. right stand the, the stand behind right under the mower goes right under the uh, front casters forks whatever you want to call them just yeah go right underneath and go flush with my truck yeah have yep. you done anything else different besides uh, the cage up there? What do you put up here? Do you put your gas tanks uh, here? So like if I'm gonna go uh, do something that re requires like my small handheld tools, I'll put those in here. Yeah. Uh, my gas cans, my uh, handheld blower, or my, well, I don't have a backpack, so uh, just my handheld blower. Uh, and then I still can do uh, on my trimmer rack. On the yeah, you still got there. your trimmer racks over here. How? How are these trimmer racks holding up? Uh, uh, pretty good, yeah. Like, do you like them? Do you have any trouble with them? I oh, mean, they're, they're uh, I've done a, a good friend of uh, Mark and I did a little mod on on this and put this little piece on here. Oh, so that wasn't on there before? No, what he did is so that it's a, a little bit easier to uh, stay on so that okay. someone doesn't try to steal it. Like when you have a lock, oh, okay. when I have a lock, I don't have a lock right now on it, but when I have my lock on, this doesn't go up as easy because so you didn't have a lock on before no i had a lock but this piece that he added uh the welding guy that had did, did this tool rack uh -huh. uh, had it so that it stays on better like it's more secure oh okay okay yeah because all it had on was this little clip right here this little clip that you oh, just put on here and he put these two little pieces so it can't really pop it ah. and the locks on there it'll come it, it, it won't be able to be popped off the this mole ranger this made it a little more safer or you know more secure okay and then he did this and then, yep. looks good bro what that's else it. are you gonna do to your truck that's it i'm not that's doing it. no more that's it you already spent too much money on it huh that's right that's yeah. right enough to the uh, mole ranger uh, the only thing i might do is, and, and a few people recommend it was uh spray the the bed and my uh the ramp uh with like a uh, what do you call it like a the line x or whatever so it's not so slippery when it gets wet you know because we we have uh such uh, unpredictable weather sometimes here in texas that sometimes it's wet and rainy and you know and then this kind of sometimes it can can be a little slippery oh, so that would be about I the only you. thing that's it's, that i would maybe do it uh additional but everything else oh okay have you have you slipped off of this yet uh not yet not yet it got pretty slippery <laughs> oh dude yeah, well it looks i didn't put i didn't put no um 
like slip resistant type paint on there or whatever so what kind of shoes are you using man let's see uh can you what do you got on my cujo yard wares with my my uh Oh, Cujo. Cujo. Cujo's. How long have you had the Cujos? Uh, those I've had uh, the entire lawn season, so however. Less than a year? Less yeah, a little, about like nine months, probably. Nine eight, months? Eight months. What do you uh, think about them, like, honestly? They're very comfortable. Just, you know, there's uh, one of my little buckles here broke. I was telling oh, Mark. Did. You can't. Oh, I see it. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it, it, they fold out pretty good, and they're, really? they're like they say, they're comfortable like a tennis shoe. I've, been, I've had them on since probably eight o'clock this morning, and it's no six, warranty on them or anything, or guarantee. Uh, I or? think it's ninety days, is all oh, that is. Oh wow, bro. Yeah, I don't think it's like a year or whatever, but I well, mean, they're they're like they say comfortable like a tennis shoe. I mean, I've had them on since eight o'clock this morning. My feet aren't hurting, so. Would you buy them again? Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. It's just you know, like anything, quality. I'm sure they've gotten lots of feedback about some other some of these issues that people have had. That's crazy. The Mo Ranger, 